You got your regular mac and cheese, you've got your instant mac and cheese, and now you've got your southern baked mac and cheese. Let me tell you one of my favorite parts of this is it goes together like this. Pay attention now, like this. You almost missed it, didn't you? I'll do it again. Like that. It's so fast. You can't do anything until you get some uh, elbow macaroni uh, boiling. So let's throw it in the pot, pretty much all the way downhill from there. We begin with one pound of elbow macaroni in our pot of boiling water and we stir. Because if you don't stir, after seven, eight minutes, you're gonna have one giant stuck together elbow macaroni. So just make sure you break everybody up. And when you have, you can just leave them alone. But right beside them, you'll notice that I'm cooking some bacon. I'm not 100% certain that bacon is traditional in southern baked mac and cheese, but for our purposes today, not only is it going in, it's gonna be delicious. But I don't want it too crispy, and this is about as much as I want. I find when it's not crisped up all the way, it retains a little extra fat and fat's flavor, and that's a good thing. So we'll, we'll take this kit off and we'll leave them until we need them. In the meantime, we'll get our uh, other stuff ready, and we'll start with this, uh, this dreamy, delicious, custard-like component that will make this super rich, elegant, and delicious. Even with all those sh fucking shells I just dropped in now are gonna be impossible to get out. So I know I've said the best way to get a shell out is with another shell, but let's just see if we can. Here's one piece, two pieces, three. Got it. Let's beat these a bit first. Clean up my spilled egg. Just get them going a bit. Then we're gonna add two cups of uh, whole milk, just like that, without the mess, hopefully. We're gonna season now quite nicely with kosher salt and pepper and garlic powder because we can and it's gonna add some flavor that we will want. And then we're gonna add a little more extra richness in the shape of about two and a half, three tablespoons of sour cream. Perfect. We'll mix this. Beautiful, we'll set this aside and we can grate some cheese. I need two cups of shredded cheddar. I want everybody to pay attention here. This is not shredded yet. I will shred it myself. The Detroit style pizza we made, which by the way, was freaking fantastic. Right boys? Yes. They're not just saying that. They don't just say that, they believe it. But the cheese that I used for that, the low moisture shredded mozzarella came already shredded in a bag and I got so much shit from people. You have no idea how much better it is if you shred your own. It's not the same thing. So for all of you guys, this is the cheese. This is my shredding. This is my box grater. I'm gonna use this. I need two cups. We do know how to shred. We do know how to shred. And see, and maybe here's the point. Some people take it that I'm, a, I'm lazy because I'm buying a already pre-shredded cheese. And yes, it's probably better. But what about the people that don't wanna do that? What about the people that don't wanna buy a box grater? and grate their own. I feel like I'm giving them license. Right, Chance? Right. To be lazy ass like me. Okay, two cups. And that will look like this. I'm sure I have a processor, a piece that allows me to shred. But honestly, that's gonna be way bigger pain in the ass to clean up than this is. And this is still a big pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong, getting cheese off of this thing is, is not the easiest thing in the world. But I'm doing it out of love for you guys and to calm the haters. Two cups, good? Good. Just push this over here for now. Oh shit, I think that might be more than two cups. I don't know that anywhere in this recipe extra cheese is gonna be a problem, am I right? Right. Yeah. The other thing we're gonna need is eight ounces of Velveeta. And as Max would say, it is not Southern mac and cheese without Velveeta, right Maxie? That's what my research told me. That's what Max's research told him. So this is one pound. And you know the crazy thing about this? This just lives on the shelf. It is not refrigerated. It doesn't really make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me it's, at all. Is it not dairy? I don't know, yes, let's see. <laughs> doesn't dairy need to be in a fridge? Skim milk is the number one ingredient in this. That sounds like dairy to me. It's like Velveeta is gonna be the thing to survive the nuclear apocalypse. 
Eight ounces is half of this. Take this guy out. We'll just give him a quick cubing because that'll help it all melt in even better. And by the way, there's no good way to cube up Velveeta. It's just gonna do its thing like that. In the interim, our pasta is almost ready, I think. And after, I don't know, however many, whatever the minutes say, I never believe them. Check one, ready. Let's drain this and we're off to the races. We'll give this a quick drain, let it do its thing, put it back in the pot, and we start to make this happen. Uh-oh. Okay. We only lost a few. For those of you that hate the uh, five-second rule, oh, come on. It wasn't on the floor. It was on the counter. I'm sure you're okay with that, but, but uh, I mean, come on. I've said it before. If something dropped in a piece of dog poop, I'm not picking it up, but most things are going to survive. Right, boys? Right, right. We're all okay with it. It was a discussion in the comment section on our last video I saw. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Somebody said, with your food, I will allow more than a five-second roll. There you go. By the way, once again, we don't do this at any of my restaurants. Not Not Tacos, Grays, and Sandburgers. No dropping burgers and serving them to people. Unless it's my burger, then I'm okay with it. All right, now let's start getting our cheese in with the hot mac. First in, our Velveeta. Or whatever it is, cheese food, plastic. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, doesn't need to be refrigerated. Cheese flavored plastic. So start getting it, start getting it underneath in the warmth, right? Now we'll add the other cheeses. So I made too much of this cheddar. I only need two cups. So we'll leave a little bit to add to the top of this when we're done. Okay, the other thing that I need here is some Shredded Monterey Jack. Ah, shredded. I got it, come on. I already had it. I didn't want to go buy a block of it. What an amateur. Here's what's important. How the shit tastes at the end, right? Right. Right. Right, Chance. Right. Chance was sleeping, I had to wake him up a little bit. It's the end product that we're going for, ladies and gentlemen, it really is. How you get there, it's kind of up to you or me if you follow my stuff or change my stuff, whatever. I just want you to eat better. In fact, we all want you to eat better. Continue with the pre-shredded Monterey Jack. Don't give me any shit for this, please. So that's about a cup. And this gets mixed. And you can see what's happening now. I mean, it's getting, it's like super thick and clumpy because well, there's no moisture in here and it needs that. Look at that orange hand shredded cheddar just waiting to be incorporated into this. Okay, by doing, by stirring it a lot, I'm yes, I'm mixing it in. So when we put the beaten eggs in, they don't like cook right away and become scrambled eggs. Let's add our bacon now. And our bacon will look like this. Gorgeous, it's gorgeous bacon. And last one. We stir some more. Ah. Okay. It's a lot of mac. It's a lot of mac, don't you worry. And now a quarter cup of butter, roughly, like this. As I'm adding the butter, I now know why Paula Dean went and got herself the diabetes. 80 cups of cheese, 400 cups of cream and milk and butter. You can't put all that in your food and eat it all the time without getting yourself the diabetes. You know what I mean? So when this is done, it's gonna be delicious, y'all. But have a little bit of it. Don't eat the whole fucking thing yourself. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. <laughs> all right, so we mix in the butter. Oh man. <laughs> This is just nuts. This is nuts. Oh my God. Okay, and now, because I, I just don't have muscle strength anymore, now comes in our egg, our milk, our sour cream mixture, like that, and we mix. Oh goodness, goodness gracious. Lordy, lordy. I'm Jewish and I go to synagogue, but this is making me want to go to church to take this to share with everybody afterwards. Holy snap. All right, we're ready to throw this into our pan. And there we have it. That's our pan. Now you could put all this stuff in and just let it bake away, but I don't like the idea that something's gonna stick and burn. Look, I want a little, you know, crispy stuff there, but so my idea, I'm gonna take some of this bacon grease that we got from making our bacon. 
we'll just put a little tablespoon on the bottom, get our paper towel, we'll spread it around, all around the edges, just like that. Oh boy. So this is my cast iron pan from my grandmother. I'm in love with it. We're working on our own because we think that a cast iron pan is one of the essential pieces that you've got to have in your lineup. They're great, they're sturdy, they'll last forever. And this kid, this kid is probably 100 years old. There are no pans that you have that are 100 years old that will look like that. Okay, so in goes our mat, or what this is meant to be, like this. There you go. Come on, everybody. Everybody out. And now, last but not least, a little more cheese, because why the F not? Because that's what they would do there. This would not be a respectable southern macaroni and cheese. A little bit more like that. And then for a little contrast, just a little of the Monterey Jack. Just a little. Nobody's going to be hurt because of this. And that is that. What happens now? Somebody, anybody. We bake. And we bake. And we bake. We've got the and chance. All right, so uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Oven's at 350. I don't know how hot your oven is, how cold your oven is. You know when macaroni is done, right? You just take a spoon, put it in. If it's all set and looking beautiful, then, then it's ready. And by the way, if after 15 minutes, you will have to have it so badly and it's not ready, it's your recipe, my friend. You can do anything you want with it. We'll see you when it comes back out. And it's going to be. And here we are. Boom. Look at that. Kiss my grits, Paula Dean. Damn. The bubbling, the couple random kids that are poking up. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, what? That's just gorgeous. Oh, the steam. Look at that. Oh, what? All right, so this now must be eaten. I have a little bowl. We're trying to be responsible here with germs and COVID and all that, but look, damn it. It's a little cheesy top layer, little bits of bacon throughout. I resisted the urge to put three pounds of green onion in here, but I can not hold back any longer. Now, this must be eaten. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. The crust on top, which is in many ways so much better than like a, a breadcrumb panko top, which I love. But the fact that it's just this thin layer of cheese that's taken over the little hint of garlic. I didn't want it to be too much, just a little, and that's what it is. It's luxurious, yet it's still firm. It holds together. Maybe some of the best Mac I've had. Oh, I can feel my arteries hardening. There's no question. But the key is, I'm not gonna eat it all. It's like simple elegance in my mouth. It really is. That's what she said? People are saying it's too much. They're saying this, that's what she said is too much. Who? I read two comments in a row the other day. People saying, Mm, maybe it's time. All right, I guess now people are going to have to tell us. Is Max's use of, that's what she said, too much? Yeah, I see people telling me about the ones that I missed all the time. So mm. I don't know about that. All right, I could go on and on and talk, but these boys won't get any. So I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to tell you the Southern Baked Mac and Cheese is an absolute hit. You have to make it. Oh, and by the way, the bottom I was worried about sticking too much. That's what's happened to it. Because we used that bacon grease, so it stuck a little bit, and that bite right here, or as they say, right there. Oh my God. Mm. It's heaven. Hey, thanks for hanging out, thanks for being here, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, then We'll tell you when we have new episodes up, which are three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. See ya.